He is doing the traditional conventional baking. He, is, he took that spot that I left. So he's, he went to the serpentine movement and he looks like a very professional driver. He got it right away. He did not make made an error. He did not make a single error. Right, left, right, left. He, got, he came back, not a single error. It is, yes, that is a guy that he might not be having experience, but he's just good. Just good what he's, what's he doing. If you look carefully on how he got that spot, he, how he got in that spot without a very little problem. He got enough room in the front. But he's also seen to be uh, familiar with the technique very good. Look at the marking on the ground of the tires. He made a serpentine movement. Made a right turn, a left turn on the front. You can look at the marking on the back. And he came back with absolute perfection. So here is the marking. He came this way. Here is the tires. Marking of the tires. He came this way. Of course, you have two tracks in the ground because of the steer. That is the steer and that's the tandem. That is the steer and that is the tandem. He, he went to this way. If you look at the... He follows the tracks. You have two tracks on the ground. Tracks for the tandem and tracks for the steer. When he came in the back, when he came to the front, right here, all the way to the front, he has enough room. You can tell now this is the steer, because the tandem is behind. Here is the steer, he stopped here. He stopped in this spot. Here is the end of his spot. He stopped here and made that curve and made another curve. This is the steer. This part here is the steer. And this part here is the tandem. This is the tandem. And this is the steer. The tandem, if you look at the tandem, went to perfectly, perfectly in the spot. Like an engineer. Very good precision. It has to do with the space, with the imagination of the driver, and with the kind of weather you have.